have looked into the eyes of evil and then went in for a kiss. I was getting mixed signals. This is the threat down. Nation, I love the Guinness Book of World Records. But check out the latest record vying for Guinness glory. Two men in New Jersey have set the record for the longest continuous kiss. Matt Daly and Bobby Cancielo kissed for more than 33 hours. That's right, folks. The world's longest kiss is a gay kiss. This brings me, folks, this brings me to threat number three, record-breaking gays. These gays are destroying the traditional sanctity of straight world records. The only time two dudes should have a record together is if they're joined at the torso or are the fattest twins on motorcycles. Nation, we must, we must keep our records from falling to the gays. There were two fraternity guys that came up and I remember hearing them. They said, oh, two dudes kissing? I don't want to see two dudes kissing. Those same two guys came back the next day when we finished and uh, my friend came over and pointed them out to me and they said, those two guys came back and they said, we were wrong yesterday. We have mad respect for what they're doing right now because they totally made it. Um, so you can change people's minds. And that's something that I've tried to carry with me over the years, that even when someone is totally a hater um, and they don't uh, believe in who you are as a person, not just how you present yourself, but they're saying, I don't believe that you're a person. And I am Maddie Daly, and we are both students at the College of New Jersey. We were doing homework, and we were taking a break watching MTV. <laughs> I'm sitting there like, Bob, we should break a world record for something. It'd be really cool. Also at the time, I had a mad crush on someone on the real world, and I thought if I did something really cool, they would want to meet me too. And didn't end up meeting that person, but that's a story for another day. <laughs> have to be standing the entire time. There are no sitting, no rests or breaks. We are only allowed to consume liquids through a straw. We can't consume solid foods. How are they gonna pee? Um, one of the questions I get often is, wait, so you peed yourself. What was that like? <laughs> it was really gross. Watch the video. People thought that the kiss was funny until they realized that it wasn't anymore, that we meant this. I mean, of course, Bobby and I have received a mostly <laughs> positive response uh, to the kiss, but there were the naysayers within our own community that would say, you know, what is this going to do to serve the gay community and how is this going to exactly. help things? Two guys kissing, you know, for 32 and a half hours, you know. In the end, it's not about what you think, it's about what it means to us. And for Bobby and I, that was a way of bringing acceptance. And it really did change things. Even if it was one person's mind, we changed. Exactly. Maddie and Bobby set a world record for longest kiss ever on Ustream last night. Everyone was tweeting me. I think it's for gay rights, but I don't think anyone was denying gays the right to make out. I'm just teasing you. You guys are awesome. Did you watch? The chat room was all teenage girls yelling, this is so hot with two T's, and oh, they're so sexy with three X's and one I. It was just kind of weird to watch. They were just standing there kissing, and one of them took their shirt off. I think Maddie was out there, shirt off, thong, showing back tat out, hoping to get a date. Their goal besides setting a world record was to show Americans how simple a kiss between two men can be. Nothing to me looks simple about standing on your feet for 34 hours and keeping your lips on someone else who is someone else's boyfriend, but that's just me. I would have been peeing all over the poor other person and wishing his saliva was diet Dr. Pepper. We had a question over here. Um, yeah, sure. So I was introduced to um, your story actually through the book, so I hugely love the man. So um, my question was, what was the experience of like, finding out that they loved them by the book kind of based off this experience like? Did, did you have like any conversation with him? Or? Yeah, so it wasn't like I found out. David Levithan had asked me about it. Um, I actually had sent him a Facebook message 
just saying, hey, I'm a huge fan of two, uh, Boy Meets Boy. While I was in my head for 32 and a half hours kissing, I kept thinking about Paul, who's one of my favorite main characters in all of literature, and wondering what would Paul do? Every time I wanted to stop uh, and quit, because trust me, when you're standing on your feet for 32 and a half hours, that five minutes of meat prime at the end does not do the six hours at the end justice that that really was. So I, I turned to my heroes in my head, and one of them being Paul. So what would Paul do? He would just keep going and cry until he passed out and died. So <laughs> I thought to myself, if I die here, at least I died doing something worthwhile. So I think my takeaway to young and old people is to keep reading, keep educating yourself and keep unlearning all the terrible things that we've learned growing up because there is such a more awesome future that we can learn about uh, if we try to do that every day. Every day I try to learn one new thing um, and remind myself of what that is the next day. Stop time is 8.41 tomorrow. Any more questions? Last chance, going once, going twice. All right, I'm gonna blow you all a kiss. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming today. I'm really happy that you enjoyed the movie.